Welcome to the third in this trilogy of videos looking at building a zip line network in Death Stranding. In the first two videos, we covered the area around Mountain Knot City. And in this third and final part of this trilogy, we are going to revisit the first area of the game and look at the network I set up in order to overcome some specific challenges. So let's get on with the show! I have fast travelled back to the distribution centre slightly southwest of Capital Knot City. So, one of the first tasks after fast travelling is to go to your private locker and equip yourself with the kit that you need. For this video, I'm not going to need a huge amount of kit because I'm just going to go travelling the network. Now in the early game one of the most difficult places to get to was the wind farm. You have to visit there for the story and you cannot avoid going through a BT area as you have to climb over a ridge in the mountains and go through the area infested with BTs before you get to the wind farm. It was a thoroughly awkward place to get to. And as you can see here, between the Time Force shelter and the bridge, up that slope is where the wind farm is. Having unlocked the zip lines in Chapter 5, I then decided to create a zip line network to get me to the wind farm and back. So you can see that there is the distribution centre, and here is my zip line. And this is the route that I have set up in order to get to and from the weather centre, sorry, the wind farm, without any great hassle. First one was placed at 300 metres, because that was the limit of the first zip line. This was put in place before I started upgrading the zip lines. Maybe if I'd have had 350, I could have gone another 5 metres. Um, sorry, another 50 metres to get the full benefit from it but uh, at the moment I haven't so the next one you can see is top of that slope at 130 I think even if the first one had gone to 350 I still need that one there because of the way in which this area is laid out the next one is up over to the left 187 and as you can see somebody's bridge is beginning to rot quite badly but I don't need that bridge so I'm not going to waste resources fixing it. I then had a while where I thought the trees would be an obstacle but it turns out they're not. You can go through the trees and I think that obstacle it's referring to there is something different but for now uh, we'll head down to the one at 72 which I put in there to get round the outside of the trees. Again you see there's an obstacle between me and the 317 but I can get to 252 through the trees. Now that's slowed down to tell me that there is a BT area. Somebody helpfully placed a safe house there but it's right here where it is absolutely crawling with the things. So this was very much a case of getting one down and then getting across to the wind farm very, very quickly. And as you can see from the wind farm, I'm very, I'm as close as I can be to the exclusion area um, so that I can quickly run across that line and be safe. 
and the order X scanner is going off because BB has detected a lot of BTs around. I like it when it does that. It taps you on the shoulder, gives you the thumbs up when everything's clear. But that is how I get to the wind farm and I, how I get there very quickly. Putting in that zip structure there suddenly made trips between the wind farm and the distribution centre so much more easy. Just checking how much repair needs to be done on that one. Mm, a fair bit. I'll come back to that in another save and do that. So certainly in this early map, this zip line network has been a tremendous boom because otherwise it would have been constantly fighting BT to get to the wind farm um, and it was only once this zip line route was established that I was able to do enough missions in order to actually get them up to a five star connection. There are two preppers in this map. One is a Ludens fan Another one is a musician. It seems that I think everything else in this area is a distribution centre. Um, Luden's fan is in a great position for establishing a quick and easy zip line network. I haven't spent a great deal of time putting in other routes in this map because there's a pretty good reason for that which I'll show you in a second and that is that I don't have the chiral bandwidth whereas on the other map there is something like 33,600 bandwidth at the moment in here we're barely above 10,000 and I think I've got every distribution centre and prepper here at five star connection so I don't think the bandwidth is going to get much higher oh it's not showing whilst I'm on the zip so we'll just go up to the loot and then I'll show you the bandwidth on here I mean you can see that again other zip line hooks are beginning to appear from other players but as of now I haven't found any real benefit to them Bandwidth in this map is 10,720 and I've got 320 left, which doesn't give me anything, enough for any more zip lines of my own. The only thing I can do now is see if I can link up with other players. Now, I have found the musician quite in quite an awkward place to get to. He's at the very end of this river halfway up the mountain but because it's like a ravine and a gorge it's not that easy to get a direct line of sight so my normal route to him would be to start where the wind farm journey goes and then go off to the connections see those two those were two online connections which I just thought I'll have a quick exploration of them they don't take me anywhere so we go back to the starting zip line. We'll head up to that one that I built up there, which is slightly off from the wind farm route. Again, maybe with a bit more advanced planning, perhaps putting that one further up the hill, I could have made this one double up as a nexus for both the wind farm and the musician because you can see the 179 meter one is obstructed and maybe in a later game I go up to the top of that bluff there and put this one back up so that they connect um, but then whether that would take me out of range of that one I'm not sure
mean, some of these online ones may be for people to just to get access to things like um, the mule camp that's here. But if you look down here, this is where the musician is. He's in that little thing down there. Really, really awkward to get to. Um, I have to stop the the zip line at that point, and then you just have to walk down. I put these signs up so that if anybody finds my zip line in their game and the signs, then hopefully they will see that the signs show them where to go for the musician who is in that little hovel there. Um, so in the eastern map, that is primarily what I've done with the zip line network to connect up the the two preppers and the wind farm. Um, the journey to Capital Knot City and the way station I primarily still do by road, trying wherever possible to avoid the BTs. Um, but I haven't really found any game need to do zip lines over there. I've just gone to the online one just to see how close it is to the mule camp and as you can see it's activated the mule scanner so whoever put that one there has possibly done it as a quick means of getting into the mule camp. My main thing for this one is to explore relocating that zip line over there because if I relocate that, see 297, if I can relocate that with a 351 it might mean I could take out one of those on the way up to the wind farm and free up a bit more bandwidth because I think it needs to be over to the left and up on that left um, because then if it could if it could then see if it yeah I wanted to try and see that one that's out of range at 326 but again that's for me to have a play with off camera um, but that really concludes the set of videos. I hope you found them informative and you can take information from these videos to build your own zipline network to make your traversal across the two maps so much more easy. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.